Wall climbing in Hogs of War is a bug. Or is it? As many of you know by now, my day-to-day -day job is a game tester. So it is my job to find bugs in video games and report them to developers. Now Hogs of War certainly has its fair share of bugs, from pigs getting stuck, to weird weapon glitches, and plenty more. But should we necessarily label the ability to wall climb as a bug? Well, in order to label something as a bug within a game, it has to not be intentional, meaning it was not a feature the developers of Hogs of War intended the player to use. However, before we can actually answer this question in full, we need to know how Hogs of War is put together. So first off, the maps. Hogs of War uses a tile-based system to break down the playable surface, so every single map in the game is made up of lots of tiny squares, and these squares or tiles are designated as either walkable or slippery. It's pretty self-explanatory, but walkable tiles are areas where the pig is able to walk around freely, and slippery tiles are areas where if your pig either lands or simply stands on these, they will automatically slip off. As a very basic overview, let's take a top-down view of the very first mission's map, codename Estu, and break down the areas that are walkable and slippery. Now, the areas highlighted in red are designated as slippery, which, as I'm sure you've noticed by now, have a clear similarity about them, that they are all the same texture. Hogs of War has always done an awesome job at providing a clear distinction as to what surfaces are slippery and what surfaces are walkable through the use of textures. In essence, the type of texture used to indicate the type of surface goes hand in hand with the sculpting of the map itself, with elevated areas usually being covered in slippery surfaces such as rock and flat walkable areas being covered in grass or snow or mud or sand. But you are probably wondering about the outer edges of the map itself, where we find what many would consider to be an invisible wall. Now this invisible wall isn't actually a wall at all. Instead, it is simply a bit of the game's code that doesn't allow the player to move their pig past the designated area. It's essentially a limit to how much control the player has, otherwise you could just walk off the map and, well, die. If a pig gets blown across into any of these areas, which in the game's code is actually referred to as no man's land, nice touch by the programmers there by the way, the game will scan the pig's position in all eight directions and attempt to find a path back to the playable surface, even if that means traveling across hazardous areas such as minefields or water. If the game can't find a path, then your pig will simply perish, which I know to many players will seem confusing when it does happen. The game is broken! I'm losing every single game, AGAIN! So what does any of this have to do with wall climbing in Hogs of War? Well, wall climbing occurs when the player moves their pig up against this boundary of code that you find on the outer edge of the map. Players will run up against it in order to traverse across areas that would normally be slippery. By hugging this boundary as you move, it enables you to move and even stand in areas that you otherwise shouldn't be able to. What's interesting though is that if you decide to use the wall climb to gain access to a slippery area, for instance standing on the side of a rock, as soon as you move off the boundary, the game will suddenly register it and ensure that you automatically slip off. Because this boundary is just code, there isn't really a visual representation for it, which is why we must go back to mission 1 and take a look at the map once again. This time the area highlighted in red shows the non-playable area, the boundary that we literally just talked about, which certainly makes the map feel a lot smaller. What's most important though is how wall climbing areas can only be found in certain parts of any given map, like it's not around the entire edge of the map. So for instance on mission 1 you can find a helpful wall climb in this corner which provides a faster route to collect the health crate and one in the opposite corner which provides a faster method of collecting the weapon crate at the top of the hill. The key thing to know is that you cannot wall climb around an entire map which automatically makes me assume that the ability to wall climb was not intended 
by the game's programmers. I mean, it would be one major bug if the player was able to do this, but as you can't, it proves to me that the QA team that worked on Hogs of War knew of this issue. However, as evidenced by the final game, they didn't catch all of these areas, or at least if they did, they may not have been able to do anything about them. For those of you with keen eyes, you'll have noticed in some of my previous videos where I've shown older versions of the game that coordinates were given whenever the game was paused, indicating the exact tiles and location that your pig happened to be standing on. This was primarily used for bug tracking, as the QA team could easily provide a set of coordinates to the programmers to help indicate a problematic area on the map, which most likely would have been the case for wall climbing. However, dating back to the very beginning of the game's development, we can actually see that the boundary of code was already very much in place, which in turn was then carried through each iteration and build of the game all the way through to the final version. Now, one such map sticks out like a sore thumb whenever someone mentions the use of wall climbing, and that is Mission 12. The map name, of course, is coded as Oasis. You guys will of course know this mission to be Just Desserts, but ultimately this map has the largest wall climb in what I can only assume to be the entire game. It gives the player access to some vast high ground when it quite clearly shouldn't, so why exactly does this map have such an extensive wall climb? Well, in the olden days, this map did in fact contain an oasis, but you want to know what's even more interesting than that? The boundary lines, the code used on the outer edges of this map is exactly the same here as it is in the final version of Hogs of War, which means that the code has been left unchanged and unaltered and that the later version of Just Desserts was just kind of sculpted around it. Perhaps this code couldn't be changed by the programmers, perhaps this huge wall climb area was completely missed by the QA team. Whichever the answer is, it doesn't really matter, as ultimately I consider the ability to wall climb in Hogs of War to be an accidental bug, something that was not intended to aid the player during gameplay, but also was something that couldn't necessarily be fixed due to how the game was structured. To fix every single wall climb would mean unraveling the spaghetti monster that is Hogs of War. In total, within the single player campaign, 12 of the 25 missions have some kind of wall climb that can assist the player in their travels. We already mentioned the key ones on the first mission and on mission 12, so next up we have mission 4, where you'll find it next to the crate drop area, giving you a quick route out onto this area. Mission 7 has one over by the Super TNT. It's very handy to collect this crate, especially considering the time limit you have during this mission. Mission 9 has a wall climb under the bridge, allowing you access to the high ground the enemies are occupying. On mission 10, you'll find one right at the back of the map, giving you access to either fight the scout or the sniper face to face and allowing you to have a much faster route to the artilleries and the metal on the high ground rather than having to circle your way around the entire map. Mission 13 has one that allows you to collect the medals without having to use a jetpack or special ops. Mission 19 provides a wall climb that can give you a much faster route to the high ground and the enemy's positions, which if you were to follow along can actually lead you right next to the pillbox. Mission 21 has a very handy wall climb that can allow you to collect the medals again without having to use a jetpack or a special ops. Mission 22 has a very small wall climb, but it can allow you to get closer to the scout or the sniper and provide you with access to the pillbox. Mission 23 provides you with a wall climb that can bring you face to face with the enemy heroes. A little bit scary. And finally, Mission 24 has a very small wall climb that allows you to move out of the hole after you've collected the 200 HP health crate without using a special ops or a jetpack. There are of course countless other wall climbs on the maps that you'll find in multiplayer, but you can go and find those out for yourself. What I love most about wall climbing is the fact that no one actually intended for this feature to be in Hogs of War, yet as a community we seem to have adopted it into our own strategies. Whether or not this was a bug that was known but couldn't exactly be fixed, or just something that was completely missed, either way it is well and truly here to stay. The existence of wall climbing in Hogs of War is what is known as emergent gameplay, which is defined as anything discovered by game players that wasn't explicitly planned or designed by a game's creator. As players, we discovered the ability to wall climb and adapt it to our own gameplay, using it whenever it best suited us, particularly when it comes to speedrunning. 
I must give a big thank you to Apio for providing me with some of the info in today's video and to John Hogg for some of the bug related videos that you saw at the beginning. You'll find his channel linked below in the description. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons over on Patreon and to my channel members and viewers over here on YouTube for your continued support of the content that I have been making. As always, don't forget to come join the Hogs of War Discord if you haven't already. Plenty of discussions going on over there, so I highly recommend that you do. And in the meantime, that is going to wrap it up for everything today in this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think about the use of wall climbing in the comments below, and I will catch you all later for the next one.